Hey guys, welcome back to my channel where I talk about the NWSL, women's soccer, just soccer, only soccer. In this video slash podcast, I'll be discussing and reviewing the Frauen Bundesliga match between Vafel Wolfsburg and FC Köln. Wolfsburg are coming off of a 1-1 draw against Roma in the Champions League, a 6-0 win against FC Nirnberg in the DFB Pokal, and a 4-0 win against MSV Duisburg in the regular season. Yeah, I know, Wolfsburg is very busy right now. <laughs> FC Köln are coming off of a 2-1 win against Tabina Potsdam in the DFB Pokal and a 2-0 loss against Eintracht Frankfurt in the regular season. When it comes to this match against FC Köln, I think Wolfsburg will do well. I definitely think they could come away with a win. Wolfsburg's attack in midfield is solid overall. Yes, we are missing Obi, but there is still good movement in the midfield with great attacking and goal scoring potential there as well. I think the only thing Wolfsburg's attack needs to work on is connecting and finishing. It's still better than, <laughs> say, Lyon and Owal Reigns finishing combined, but when it comes to Wolfsburg, they should try to touch it up even more. We've seen that when Wolfsburg are able to connect and finish, they're virtually unstoppable. However, the biggest thing Wolfsburg needs to work on is their back line. Defending as a team is fine, but I don't think there is enough attention being paid to the actual back line. There is so much focus on the attack and midfield, but the back line cannot be neglected or left to fend for themselves. Wolfsburg will be challenged by other attacking teams, and it's essential that the back line and defense are organized and focused. And the thing is, Wolfsburg has great and very aggressive defenders. I think if I was to do Wolfsburg's back line, <laughs> I would have Hagering and Jensen as center backs, then have Wiedemeyer and Wilms as the left and right backs. Yes, I know it sounds controversial since, especially since I'm benching Feli Rauch and her on-target corner kicks, but I've been really impressed with Vita Meyer and Wilms. Not only can they defend, they can also provide good service in the attack, which is something this team likes to do. Do I think Tommy Stroot will do a starting back line with Hagering, Jansen, Wilms, and Vita Meyer? No, but it's cool to think about. That all being said, let's get into the lineup for this match. All right, so the lineup, we have Merle Fromms in the goal for defenders Kathy Heinrich, Dominique Jansen, Feli Rauch, and Marina Hagering. In the midfield and attack, we have Lena Latvijn, Obi, Alex Pop, Jill Rord, Svendish Jansdottir, and Tavea Vasmuth. Guys, Obi's back. Yes, Obi is back. That is great news, and she's not the only one. Tavea Vasmuth is back too. She did play for a few minutes in the match against Nuremberg but she didn't play in the Champions League match against Roma. It's great to see her starting. Personally, I would have liked to see her alongside Eula Brand, but this is still perfect for her. She did get an assist in the match against Nuremberg, and hopefully she can get some goals and assists in this match. I do see Pyro, Huth, and Brand on the bench. Stroot is clearly, rest clearly resting them after the match against Roma, but I wouldn't be surprised if he brings one of them on in the second half. For now, though, let's get into the first half. All right, so the first half, we are off. Good crowd at Köln, great energy, looks fun. One minute, Wolfsburg gives it away, Köln on the attack, Obi gets it back, Jans Dottier cross kicked away. Jans Dottier, 1v1, taken away, brought back to the Köln keeper. Two minutes, Vosmuth cross kicked away, Pop and Latvine double team, a Köln player. Obi attempt from distance goes wide. Rauch fouled, late challenge, 4 minutes, Wolfsburg free kick directly outside the cone box. Jansen attempt from the free kick, blocked by the wall. Jansen to Rauch, Rauch cross, defended away, pop attempt blocked, Rauch scores on the rebound, but offsides. Great goal though. Also, how are we offsides and Pyar isn't even starting? It's usually Pyar that's always offsides. Anyway, Latvine gives it away, 5 minutes, colon cross, caught by Fromms. 6 minutes, Pop leaves it off to Henrik, surprised the colon player couldn't get to that first. Henrik cross, Jans Dartier header attempt goes over. 7 minutes, Jans Dartier making a run with the ball, kicked away. Jans Dartier throws it into the box, defended away. 
Eight minutes pop cross blocked. Jans Dottier throws it into the box, headed away and defended away. Nine minutes Rauch attempts save. Ten minutes Kohn on the attack, ball sent into the Wolfsburg box, collected by Fromms. Twelve minutes Hagering sends it up, taken away by Kohn. Kohn cross defended away. Jans Dottier comes away with a Jans Dottier attempt blocked. 13 minutes, Cone Cross headed away, ball sent towards the Wolfsburg box. Jensen sees it go out. 14 minutes, Jensen taken off the ball, Cone counterattack. Obi kicks it away. Obi with two aggressive tackles in a row on the same Cone player. She took her down twice in a row. And I think I heard the crowd go, ooh. <laughs> 15 minutes, Jensen sends it up, Cone gets it back, Wolfsburg wins it back now. 16 minutes, Rauch over to Vosmuth. Vosmuth cross saved. 17 minutes, Obi clears the ball into a Cohn player's head. What I mean by that is she kind of kicked the ball into a Cohn player's head or face. Cohn player down, definitely not intentional, but damn. You could tell that was a hard kick. Obi and Pop checking on the player. Trainers coming out to check on her too. Obi's like, whoops. The Cone player is still down though. I'm wondering if she got knocked out by that. It really doesn't look like she's moving. The stretcher is out is out now and they're yeah, they're taking her off by stretcher. I hope she's okay. God, Obi, you just got back and you already knocked someone out <laughs> 17 or 18 minutes into a match. Also, just want to clear something up because I feel like people have the wrong idea of Obi and her playstyle. Obi isn't out to hurt anyone. She's not being malicious in any way. Like, we often joke about Lena Oberdorf, Obi getting yellow cards and beating everyone up, but we know she's not actively out to hurt others. Also, she hasn't gotten a single yellow card this season, so she's definitely maturing as a player, and we're hoping she doesn't get yellow cards. <laughs> um... <laughs> Anyway, 21 minutes, game starts up again. 22 minutes, Kohn in the Wolfsburg box. Kohn attempts, sa Kohn attempts saved by Fromms. Wolfsburg's defense was so slow there. How do you not clear that? 23 minutes, Kohn corner kick, offsides or foul in the box. Wolfsburg ball. Kohn pressing, Wolfsburg struggling to get it away from their penalty area. 24 minutes, OB attempt from distance saved. Hagering down after a collision with a Kohn player. Before that, though... Another Quan player goes down. Not sure what happened to that one. Trainer coming out to check on her. She's fine. But Quan foul for the challenge on Hagering. Wolfsburg free kick. 26 minutes. Rauch sends it in. Headed away. Roared cross blocked. 27 minutes. Wolfsburg corner kick. Headed away. Obi cross or pass intercepted. 28 minutes. Pop forced off the ball. Quan on the attack. Wolfsburg gets it back. Pop cross goes wide, misses Roard. 29 minutes, ball sent into the Cone box, kicked away. 30th minute, Wolfsburg corner kick, Hagering puts it in. Wolfsburg, 1-0. Vosmuth fouls, hard and late challenge on a Cone player. Cone free kick, ball sent into the Wolfsburg box, defended away. Sent in again, defended away. 31 minutes, Jans dart here, up to pop, miscommunication there. Ball brought back to the Cone keeper. 32 minutes, Vosmuth sees Pop, sends it up to her. Pop making a run into the box. Pop scores, Wolfsburg 2-0. 33 minutes, long ball towards the Wolfsburg box. Cone attempt goes wide. I guess it deflected off a Wolfsburg player along the way because it's a corner kick. 34 minutes, Cone, Cone corner kick goes over. 35 minutes, Jensen pass intercepted. Cone cross, Cone in the Wolfsburg box with the ball goes out of play. 36 minutes, Ralph cross to Roard in the box, be into it by the keeper. 37 minutes, Cohn cross headed away, Jans Dottier goes to clear. Cohn player tries to go for it too, but takes out Jans Dottier's legs. Or that could have been a high boot. Cohn foul. Cohn foul, I mean. And yellow card to Gudolf, Wolfsburg ball. 38 minutes, Latvine cross intercepted. Before that, two Köln players running into each other and going and going down. Um, they're fine, but <laughs> that was just really funny. Pop touch intercepted. 39 minutes, Obi cross kicked away. Lots of midfield action. 
40th minute, ball sent towards the Wolfsburg box, Fromms collects. Fromms under pressure, clears. Roared off to Rauch, Rauch cross blocked. 41 minutes, good defending by Jansen. 42 minutes, Latvine up to Vosmuth, miscommunication there. Tried to play it up to Vosmuth, but she didn't react quick enough, and it went out of play. 43 minutes, Hager and Cross, pop header attempt, goes wide. Kohn on the attack now. Kohn player lays it off, touched into the Wolfsburg box. Jensen tackles it away. Fromms makes a save. 45 minutes, pop foul, shoved in the back from behind. Wolfsburg free kick, four minutes of added time. Ball sent into the Kohn box. Hagering heads it in. Wolfsburg 3-0. 46 minutes, long ball into the Wolfsburg box, scooped up by Fromms. 47 minutes, Colin Cross, slowly cleared. Ball in the Wolfsburg box, kicked away. 48 minutes, Colin Cross, cleared. Jan starts here making a run. 49 minutes, pop cross, Vosmuth header attempt, goes to the keeper. Would have been offsides anyway. Then whistle blown, first half ends, Wolfsburg 3-0. All right, so good first half for Wolfsburg. A very physical one, I noticed. I really hope the Cohen player who had to come off on a stretcher is okay. She took a really hard hit to the head. It was really concerning, especially since it looked as though she wasn't moving. I was watching her feet and legs to see if there was any movement there, but I honestly didn't see any. Um, yeah, I guess Obi really knocked her out. Unintentionally, of course. As for Wolfsburg, attack in midfield looked good. There's been a lot of action in the midfield, and Wolfsburg has been doing well at controlling the midfield. Wolfsburg's defending looks alright, but I wish they would be quicker with those clearances. It's great to have Obi back because she is providing good support in the defense, but also in the midfield and attack as well. Now, let's get into the second half. Alright, so the second half, we are off. Wolfsburg starts off with a substitution, Wilms in, Hagering out. I'm guessing Henrik moves over into the center back position. This is okay. We're already up 3-0. And Vilms will probably be more involved in the attack. 45 minutes. Ball in the Kohn box. Kicked away. Ball sent towards the Wolfsburg box. Kicked away. 46 minutes. Kohn near the Wolfsburg box with the ball. Vilms defending. Vilms fouls. Kohn free kick outside the Wolfsburg box. Cohn cross headed away by Pop. That ball has some bend on it. Could have gone into the goal if Pop wasn't there. Cohn cross again. Wolfsburg trying to get it away. Cohn attempt goes wide. 47 minutes. Rauch or Jansen mistake. Gives the ball away. Cohn sends it into the box. Cohn attempt goes over. That is what I mean when I say the Wolfsburg back line keeps making these small mistakes. These are dangerous mistakes to make. We're in the 47th minute of the second half, and that giveaway was a good opportunity for Colin to get on the scoreboard. Jan Stottier cross to Roard. Roard attempts saved by the keeper. 49 minutes, long ball towards the Wolfsburg box. Wilms kicks it back to Fromms. Jan Stottier cross kicked away. 50th minute, Wolfsburg corner kick. Wilms header attempt saved by the keeper. 51 minutes, Latvine touch kicked away. Wolfsburg offsides. Header towards the Wolfsburg box, Fromms under pressure, clears. 52 minutes, Kohn on the attack, goes out of play. Kohn foul, Wolfsburg ball, takes it quickly. Ball up to Wilms, Wilms cross, headed away. Latvine to Vosmuth, Vosmuth attempt, way off target. 53 minutes, Jan here 1v1, loses it. Obi fighting to win back possession. Jansen sends it up, kick back to the keeper. 54 minutes, Kohn sends it up, Kohn offsides. Ball in the Kohn box, picked up by the keeper. Ball sent towards the Wolfsburg box, Kohn offsides. 55 minutes, Jan Startier up for Vosmuth. Vosmuth gets around the keeper, her attempt goes wide. I don't think she had a good enough touch on it to make an attempt like that, but still a good attempt. 56 minutes, OB fouled, shoved in the back, Wolfsburg free kick, ball sent in, headed away. 57 minutes, Wolfsburg corner kick headed down, Rauch attempt blocked. Wolfsburg corner kick goes wide. Ladvine attempt from distance just misses the top corner. That was really close though. 58 minutes, Wolfsburg substitutions, Latvine and Rauch out, Huth and Wiedemeyer in. So we are getting Wilms and Wiedemeyer in the back line together. Good, this will be fun or painful depending on the situation. I don't know, I wouldn't want to go up against them. 
58 minutes, Cone defender or keeper mistake, miscommunication, chaos in the Cone box, Wolfsburg rushing in, Obi and Jan start to keep it in the box, Huth attempt blocked, Huth attempt again, Cone comes away with it. 59 minutes, Cone coming down the Wolfs coming down Wolfsburg's right side, good tackle by Vita Meyer. Cone corner kick headed away by Pop. Huth comes away with it. Huth making a run, lays it off to Vosmuth. Vosmuth cross, kicked away. 60th minute, Wolfsburg corner kick short. Didn't see what happened. The stream cut off for a few seconds. 61 minutes, Wilms up to Jan Startier in the cone box, kicked away. 62 minutes, Jan Startier throws it into the cone box, caught by the keeper. Good throw and good catch. <laughs> 63 minutes, ball towards the cone box, kicked away. Huth up to Roard. Roard over to Pop. Pop, weird cross. Cohn has it for a second, but Roard recovers and plays it back. 64 minutes. Jan Startier attempt from distance. Goes wide. Obi foul. Shoves a Cohn player. Not much behind it. Cohn ball. 65 minutes. Ball towards the Wolfsburg box. Kicked away by Jansen. Huth fouled. Grabbed and held. Wolfsburg ball. 67 minutes, ball sent up for Vosmuth, goes to the keeper. 68 minutes, Huth up to Vosmuth, Vosmuth shoved down. Pop able to run up and put it in the goal, Wolfsburg 4-0. That was probably a soft foul on Vosmuth in the box, but I think the ref decided to let Wolfsburg have the advantage there. The ref might have even allowed for a PK if Wolfsburg didn't score. Wolfsburg substitution, OB out, Pi or in. 69 minutes, long ball towards the Wolfsburg box, headed away. Colin sends it up, offsides. 70th minute, Wilms touch, kicked away. Wolfsburg cross, saved by the keeper. 71 minutes, Colin cross, deflected. Colin corner kick, headed away. Um, Colin cross, punched away by Fromms. Colin attempt, saved by Fromms. 72 minutes, long ball up, up from Vosmuth, saved by the keeper. Colin touch, kicked away. Pyro making a run off to Vosmuth, then off to Roard, back to Vosmuth, Vosmuth attempt save. They are trying to get Vosmuth on the ball. They are getting the ball to her, but she hasn't been able to finish. 74 minutes, ball up to Jonstadt here, kicked away. 76 minutes, stream cut off for a moment, but it looks like Wolfsburg made another substitution. Roard out, Blancfuss in. Jonstadt here foul, colon, ball. 77 minutes, Huth over to Blancfus, off to Jan Stottier. Jan Stottier trips over a Cone player and goes down in the box. Ref says no foul. Yeah, that's fair. Cone comes away with it. Actually, from the replay, that may have been a foul and it could have been a penalty kick for Wolfsburg. The Cone player's foot was nowhere near the ball and Jan Stottier didn't have the ball at her feet when the challenge happened. 78 minutes, Pyor up to Vosmuth. Vosmuth over to Blancfist. Blancfist attempt blocked by the keeper. Vosmuth attempt on the rebound blocked. <laughs> yes, be disappointed, you two, because how do, how do either of you not put that in? 79 minutes, Wolfsburg corner kick headed away. Wolfsburg offsides. 80th minute, ball up for Jan Startier kicked away. 81 minutes, Wilms dispossessed Klon on the attack. Ball back to Fromms. 82 minutes, Cone attempt from distance goes over. Jan Startier making a run, sends it into the Cone box. No runners there, goes to the keeper. 83 minutes, Cone cross kicked away. 84 minutes, Cone corner kick headed away. Ball sent back in, defended away by Wilms or Wienemeyer. Sent back in again, defended away. Stream cut off for a moment. Now we're in the 86 minutes. 86 minutes, Wilms fouls holding Cone free kick. Ball sent into the Wolfsburg box. Colon attempt saved by Fromms. 87 minutes. Colon outside the Wolfsburg box with the ball kicked away. Vita Meyer cross. Pyor header attempt goes wide. 88 minutes. Huth off to Vosmuth. Vosmuth cross. Blancfist attempt goes over. Again, finishing. <laughs> Wilms fouls takes down a Colon player. Colon ball. 89 minutes, a Cone player is down. Not sure what happened there. Trainer's out to check on her. She's coming off, but I think she's going to be coming back in. Two minutes of added time. 92 minutes, whistle blown. Second half ends. Wolfsburg wins 4-0. Another Wolfsburg win in the books. Wolfsburg still undefeated and still atop the Frauen Bundesliga standings. 
This was a good match. Midfield and attack look good. Great movement in the midfield. Lots of opportunities and chances created. Good support in the box, but <laughs> the finishing and that final touch still needs some, well, touching up. Wolfsburg's defense and back line look good as well. And that's the thing. When the back line settles into the game, they are usually fine. But when the match starts up, when the half is starting up, they can be caught off guard. I was thinking a way Wolfsburg could remedy that is by maintaining possession in the midfield, keeping possession as a team. That could help the back line get more settled into the game. That way they won't be too caught off guard and they won't and they might not make that many mistakes. Wilms and Wiedemeyer did well when they came on in the second half. Even though they tend to get involved in the attack, they definitely are more defense focused, which is a good thing. Stepping away from the back line, let's <laughs> talk about Vasmuth. Yeah, probably not her day. <laughs> Honestly, she was getting into the box. They were getting the balls up to her, and she was on the ball a lot. But finishing that final touch wasn't there for her. Still thought it was kind of funny when Blankvist and Vosmuth couldn't get that fifth goal in the 78th, 79th minute. I'm sure Vosmuth will get some goals in Wolfsburg's upcoming games. She's just coming back from injury and needs more time to reconnect with the attack. She'll definitely get there. Wolfsburg's next regular season match is going to be a tough one. Wolfsburg will be taking on Eintracht Frankfurt on Saturday, December 3rd. Right now, Frankfurt is number two in the Frauen Bundesliga standings, right above Bayern München, who's number three. Anyway, that is all I have for you guys today or tonight. Congrats to Wolfsburg, and I'll see you all in the next one. Later.